Hi guys and welcome to another Best Possible Squad Builder by myself, Bates and 87 As you can see there, the uh, well nation we're going to be doing this week, this Saturday, is going to be Argentina. Now, a few of you may have seen the messy pull on my channel, so this has been, well, it's eased up me being able to build this squad for you. So the formation we're going to do it in today is going to be 3 4 one, two, and uh, it's going to feature some fucking awesome players, I can guarantee you that. First things first though, if you want any uh, ultimate team coins, make sure you check out fifacoinstash.com. Their link can be found down below. So let's get on and build this Argentina team. So looking on it last year as well, when I did build it, it looks very, very similar. Um, there's a few less uh, informs as well because Messi has yet to get an inform. And we have played him at a position. But I will explain after I built the team why players are in them positions. So the goalkeeper for Argentina is the lowest rated player in the team and it is Caballero. He plays for Malaga in the BBVA. Not bad, looks a bit like me. Uh, very enjoyable goalkeeper, actually. Uh, he was solid, saved a lot of shots. and But the, just the formation itself, I don't really enjoy using three at the back. But for me to get the highest rated teams, sometimes you do need to use it. Sorry, just banged my leg on the table. Moving on to the uh, three centre-backs. In the middle, we're going to go for the slowest, which is Garay. He plays for Benfica. I think that's Benfica. Let's have a look if that is Benfica. Yes, it is. Benfica. At least I got that right. I just couldn't tell with that badge then. Moving on to the left-hand side, we have gone with Capignaro. He uh, was from one of the early team of the weeks. Very solid player. 70 pace, and he is also the only, well, currently, the only inform sent. No, he isn't, because Benesh has come out, actually, now. Um, he's the, the first one to get an inform in the Serie A. So he's uh, worth quite a bit of coin. Moving on to the right-hand side, and it is Mascherano, 84 rated. So currently, we have an 83, 83, 84 centre-back ratings, which is not bad. The team looks uh, looks good already, really. Quite high rated for an Argentine, Argentina uh, defence, because I, I think the Argentina lacks in defence, uh, especially with the left, left back and right backs, which is the reason we've had to use three at the back. Moving on to the two centre midfield spots. Now, you lot probably will mourn about this one, but it is Lionel Messi at centre midfield. And then moving on to the left hand side, we have gone with Gonzalez, who plays for Porto. Now, the reason that Messi is centre mid is because when you get him out of a pack like I did, he is originally a centre forward. So like I did in my last squad builder, which was the Australia one, um, I did state that we were going to um, only move players two spots away from the original position. So with Lionel Messi being centre forward, the maximum we can move him down is to centre midfield. And to be fair, he's not bad there. Um, looking at him, he didn't get any goals really. He got one assist. His work rates are high uh, and medium defensive uh, so he does get forward on attack but thankfully Gonzalez is one of them sitting midfielders anyway so he covers that spot really well now moving on to the left side we have Inform Levesi. He we have had him before in one of our squad builders he is an absolute tank we have put the maestro trait on him as well we paid 276 for him uh, on Tuesday evening and uh, in 7 games he played he scored 1 goal 4 start, 4 start as well uh, moving on to the right hand side he is also quite an expensive player it is Di Maria for Real Madrid now with these with this team as well guys uh, there was a, a trophy out currently I can't remember the name of it now it was one where you had to have one from Barcelona and one from Real Madrid players so this team was eligible to play it and that is where we got all the clips from now moving on to the cam position we have put Tevez there with the sniper card uh, now because of Messi being at centre mid we have been able to get quite a high rated attack so we've dropped Carlos Tevez down to Cam because he was originally a striker two positions away and it frees up the spot for two awesome strikers. So on the left hand side we went for Sergio Aguilero the in form with the Hunter card. A very expensive card currently. 510k we paid for him uh, on the Tuesday evening. Moving on to the right hand side to finish off this team it is Higuain for Napoli very enjoyable striker if you've not used him I really recommend you do especially with Ibarbo partnering him uh, them two just run off each other perfectly uh, very solid team very enjoyable to use uh, so what I'm going to do now guys is move on over to the highlights of the uh, games we did play with this best possible Argentina team in foot 14 uh, as of the well as of today really any other day and it could be upgraded with any team of the week players so remember to smash that like button and I'll see you in a sec 
and we're back guys these are the highlights uh, well initially this is the first game within five minutes of us using Sergio I thought I'd try his shot and what a shot that was into the far corner so let's give you guys a better rundown of the team moving from the goalkeeper up towards the strikers now the keeper was not that bad really he's a discard value goalkeeper not many people use him in the team well in the teams I wouldn't use him anyway uh, if I was building an amazing team because you can get so much better in the BBVA but he does have a 186 centimetre. He's quite a medium sized goalkeeper compared to most, uh, especially Coatois in the uh, BBVA is a lot better and a lot taller. The three centre backs, even though Garay is quite slow, he's really solid because pace isn't a massive factor. You lot may say different, but I still think it's strength over pace. Um, when Garay and Campagnaro do start knocking players around, same with Mascherano actually, uh, they do cause a lot of disruption to the opposition attack. Now, Messi at centre midfield, you lot are going to be discussing that one. He links up very well, but the odd time he does drift up into the striker position. But you're not going to mind, he's a very solid player um, and, well... He's not that tall, really, for a CDM. But because it is the highest possible Argentina team, it just had to be done. And uh, hopefully, next time you see him in any of my teams, he will be a lot higher than he is currently. Uh, Gonzalez, very solid CDM-style player. Very uh, good at passing and uh, very tall as well. Levetti, I just don't seem to be able to get to use him a lot as uh, a lot a lot as I want to, um, considering looking at his stats, 89 pace and 82 shooting and 90 dribbling, 4 star, 4 star, um, for his price, quite disappointing really, Di Maria on the other hand is very solid, you did see a few clips from him already, uh, scoring some beast goals, Tevez at Cam, you may as well see him as a third striker because he does hang around with Aguero and Higuain, uh, well, very close, you'll see that if you look at the clips a lot more closely, Higuain, very solid, a bit clumsy at times, but when you've got Inform Aguero next to him, you're not going to complain about that, are you? Uh, especially when he, he is so good. Easily the best Inform player I have used uh, on this game. For 510k, though, it's a big chunk of money out of your budget if you are going to purchase him. Um, I've not even used his normal card. You lot will have to let me know what his normal card is like and whether it's very similar to it if you have used both of them. So, guys, let's aim for 1,500 likes on this best possible Argentina team. If we do hit it, I will have the best possible Portugal team or even the best possible Spain next Saturday. Tomorrow we have the best possible USA team coming, so make sure you check that out. Smash the like button, subscribe and comment.